Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics and keeping it simple. Today, we're going to teach you about operating leverage in about two minutes. Now, operating leverage is a relationship between companies' fixed and variable costs. Let's talk about the airline industry. They tend to have a pretty high operating leverage. Now, the fixed cost for high flight airlines is pretty obvious. Now, the salary of its crew, leases for its aircraft, insurance, hangar rental. Now, the variable costs, which change month to month, are obviously like things like fuel costs and also let's say how much it spends on refreshment for drinks. Now therefore the company has high operating leverage. A company with high operating leverage like HiFly will see its profits go up when ticket sales increase because the fixed costs remain the same. Remember, a company with low operating leverage in the declining sales period must still pay the fixed costs with separate pay losses. Pretty easy to concept. Now let's jump into now. The degree of operating leverage DOL of a firm measures how well a company generates profit using its fixed cost. Calculate sales by its variable cost divided by profit. It's pretty simple. Let's go to an example. High fly earns ticket sales of $4,000, have variable cost of $500, and a fixed cost of $1,200. Then it's profit $4,000. So high fast competitor Mr. Plus has the same seat sales of 4000 so it's variable and fixed cost are $1,000 and $5 respectively. So for a profit, $4,000 minus $1,000 minus $500 equals $2,500. So Mr. Bus, DOL, $4,000 minus $1,000 divided by $2,500 equals 0.6. So high fly's operating leverage is higher than Mr. Bus given the DOL. This is just an example that shows how the operating leverage magnifies both profits and losses. So Professor Savings signing out. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And this one's a little bit tough, so I will watch this video a few times just to grab.